Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today the Kitchenware Metal Library, which is the second library in our producer portfolio range. And for this library we've taken 12 metal objects that you might find in a chef's pantry. We've struck these with a variety of beaters. So we've got the soft beater, medium and hard, the stick and the hand. Some of these are also struck with the fingernail um, and some of them don't have the soft beater as it didn't kind of work for those. So we've picked the best things for each each instrument and um, and then use that. We've recorded this with four different mic positions. So you've got the cardioids, um, the condensers, the ribbons and the room mics. And then they're presented in a tuned form and in the untuned form. So for example, I'll give you a quick blast here with the soft beta for, for this instrument. So you can hear there that it's kind of tuned to the normal scale. And then if we go with the untuned version, when you hit middle C, that's always the raw sound of the actual bowl being struck. So you can get a kind of... If you play this against um, conventional tuning, you get some really interesting and nice effects. So let's go back to the tuned version. The medium beta sounds like this. And you can hear that it's recorded with three different dynamic um, responses and also it's recorded with five round robins, so it's um, nice and deeply sampled. The hard beta, and then we've got the stick for this one, and then struck with the hand. So great for these kind of... Nice little patterns like that work really well with the hands. So the different microphones, um, I'm going to switch the hard beta so you can hear quite clearly. So those are the, um, are the uh, mics that you kind of load as the basics. These are the condensers. Um, they're a pair. Of, they're an overhead condenser pair. Um, we've got an overhead ribbon pair, which has a very different sound. And then we've got the room mics, a further back kind of ambience mic. So for different things, if we put on the stick and then we compare the room mics, and then you compare those to the cardioids. You can hear that you, it's a very different perspective and so mixing and matching between these um, you can get a really interesting sound field. Um, and you can of course always put these out of different outputs here. So if you have a, if you want to set up a surround version of these that's very straightforward as well. You can use the envelope to change the attack. Um, even if we went back to the original soft beta, put a very long envelope on. gives you a very different sound. So there's a lot of um, variation that you can do just within the front panel and tweaking the sound to get it exactly how you want it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the different um, bowls. So here's the large shallow bowl. So that's a nice a useful sound again quick. Um, you can hear a very different kind of timbre coming out depending on how you on how you um, set the controls here. Let's go for the medium shallow bowl. That's a nice sound. We've got the large heavy bowl. And you can hear that the overtones really affect the way that this is going to work with different instruments. So you might find that some of these um, work better with strings, some of them work better in context of a song, along with more percussive instruments and some with less percussive. It's really um, one of those kind of one of those things where you just have to kind of suck it and see. Hand is particularly nice on this one. Um, it's very responsive to dynamic. We've got the tall bowl. Very nice. Square jug. Very different. <laughs> you can hear. That's kind of interesting with the hand. And that's almost all overtones. Um, so it's a, it's a, that's an interesting sound to have as a, as a flavour on top of something else. Um, the large measuring cup. 
So again, fingernail for that one because the palm hit didn't really work. Um, we've got the small measuring cup. And again, these two beaters didn't work for this one, so no point presenting you something that doesn't work. Really nice. And again, if you kind of go. Some interesting stuff if you really pitch it down. The thin jug. Really nice one, this. Very, very long ring out. Uh, different beaters. Hand. So you can do that kind of. Uh, if we go back to the soft beats, you'll hear the difference. So it's great for doing these kind of very atmospheric. Very kind of useful little sounds here. So this is the Kitchenware Library. Um, we're very excited to have put this together. It's something that started its genesis um, with Christian and his brother Joe. Um, they recorded something in their original studio in Soho, which had a lot of kind of traffic noise, lorries and pneumatic drills and things like that in the background. It was very, very basic, but um, had a kind of magic to it. And so it's gone through various iterations since then. Um, and this is the latest, you know, we decided to reapproach it a little while back and actually start recording it. Um, how we'd want it now with the maximum control, all the different mic options and all that kind of stuff. So we're really happy with it. It's going to get a lot of use over here and um, hope you guys enjoy playing with this one too. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.